Hi, for this week's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up a terrestrial and arboreal enclosure. Here at New England Reptile, we have a variety of sizes of spiders, including little baby spiderlings to the biggest adults you could find. As a result, you're going to need a lot of different sizes of enclosures. For your little tiny little spiderlings, a little vial such as this will do. Fill it with dirt, maybe even give them a little piece of twig or a cork bark or something, and you're pretty much set from there. As they get older, you can move on to a little more aesthetically pleasing acrylic enclosures, or for a more utilitarian approach, deli cups will do. But here's the big stuff. So first we're gonna start off with the terrestrial enclosure. We'll be using this beautiful Pamphobedius species Ecuador 2, who recently has been kicking hairs at us, and hopefully will be nice and compliant with this. So for a start, you're gonna want a good amount of substrate, along with some, you might want some decorations, such as this sweet piece of cork bark. So to start off, we're gonna wanna angle this nicely, kinda figure out where it's gonna go. You wanna be able to see your spider, have it pointed a little forward. You can't have it pointing completely forward because it doesn't fit quite. So once you have an idea of what you want this enclosure to look like, your best bet is going to be to start filling it with substrate. And for our substrate, we use Eco Earth, Sweet cocoa fiber stuff works very well for both arboreal and terrestrial enclosures. So just lump that in. And since this is a terrestrial enclosure, you're gonna want a lot of substrate. You're gonna wanna fill it up to about the halfway point. And from there, you can kinda move it around, kinda get an idea of where you want everything to be. And then dig out a little crater for your piece of cork bark, fill it in a bit. And then it's all smooth sailing from there. You can take more substrate and dump it on in until it's nice and full and so the tarantula has no chance of taking a fall from any high heights. Have a nice amount of cushioning substrate to land on. This actually looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll keep it like that. And then as well, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of uh, moisturization to keep humidity up, keep your spider hydrated and all that. So we have this, how do I work this? Ah, here we go. We have this little contraption. You can fill up as needed, get the substrate nice and wet. Get this a little going. And then once you got a good amount of water in the substrate, get a little more in there. Stir it up with your hands, get it nice and mixed up. Maybe even add a little more. Wash your hands off. Get everything nice and moist. These are tropical species and will like the tropical, uh, what's the term, uh, humidity and temperature as well. Parameters, that's it. Anyway, so once you get in a good amount of substrate in, we'll still want a bit more. Get nice and full. Stir that up a bit. And then that's a solid basic little tarantula enclosure, but who wants to stop there? You want it to look nice as well. So you're gonna need some water as well. Got a little fake rock for a water bowl. You can fill that up, fill it with water. Real good shots there. And then once you got all that set up, you can choose to add other things, rocks, other pieces of wood, live plants, which we will cover in a later video. All that fun stuff. The world is your oyster when it comes to decorating tanks, as long as it's safe for the tarantula. You want to avoid sharp objects, anything that the tarantula might hurt itself on, anything that if it fell after climbing that it could hit and maybe get hurt that way. Just keep it safe for them, and then you will have a happy tarantula. Hopefully, this will also be a happy tarantula as we move in. So as far as rehousing goes, there's a few ways you can do this. You can take it, if you have the tarantula in an enclosure already, such as this, you can just open it up. And oh, there he goes, kicking hairs at me. You can just open it up and let them get out on their own whim, but who wants to do that? That's not, it doesn't make for a very exciting video. Instead, we're going to carefully poke this tarantula out with these tongs. Will this work? Hopefully. And look at that. He's already eager and excited to go on in. Move your butt. 
Move your butt some more. And he is kicking hairs at me like no one's business. And there you go. There's a terrestrial enclosure. You can see that beautiful spider looking pretty damn great. And you can close it up. And that is your terrestrial enclosure. Next up will be an arboreal enclosure. Your arboreal spiders are going to be your avicularia species, your pocilotherias, and amongst any other species, many, many others. And today we will be using this gorgeous pocilotheria metallica, the sapphire goody, which we do have for sale on the website. Anyway, so with an arboreal enclosure, you're going to want to emphasize height over horizontal space like the terrestrial enclosure. As a result, we still have cork bark, but instead of a round tube, we're going to be putting up some more vertical pieces. You're going to want substrate again, but you don't need nearly as much this time around. You can fill the bottom part in, get a few inches in there. And for the most part, arboreal spiders aren't going to be burrowing species, so it's really not as necessary, like I said before, to have a huge amount. So get that sort of thing going, and then take your nice piece of cork bark, put it up against the back, give your spider a nice place to hide about, and then if you want, here's another little tiny water bowl for a slightly smaller spider. You can put that wherever you please. And that's a basic arboreal enclosure. And now, we can have the lovely fun of putting the spider inside. Get these. She's eating right now, but hopefully she will be done in a second. If not, then that's cool too. As you can see, the spider handler carefully moves with the tongs. And she is a happy spider in her new home. Like that. And that's about it. That's an arboreal enclosure for you. You have that. Remember, just keep vertical space prioritized. Give them something to climb on. Just give them some substrate. You don't need a ton. Give them an access to water, and you should be set. Terrestrial enclosure, more substrate, more horizontal space, much less height so they can't fall and hurt themselves, and you'll be set with either a terrestrial or arboreal tarantula.